Good morning. Just wanted to run through really quickly the pieces of the TRF because I want to make sure you're familiar with it. So remember I sent you a link of an online version where you could um, just type in the box and do things like that. I'm um, Hopefully you got your stylus in the mail so you could also write in the box. But if you want a PDF, um, I'm happy to send you that too. Just let me know. So basically remember that you will set this up where your name will go here, my name will go here, the date of your tutorial. So for example, if it was today, it would be 11-3. You would be um, avid period. Put the period that you belong to. And um, So if you're first hour, you would just write one and then D for distance or two D for distance. Tutor, you can skip because you're not really sure who it's going to be that day. And then whatever your subject is, right? This top part is all about how you get your points. 10 points for the pre-work and you'll be able to see them as you kind of go through. Six points for inquiry and communication, or excuse me, six points for inquiry, so asking great questions, four points for communication, um, five points for the reflection, so that's that reflection that you've been seeing showing up in Moodle. For a total of 25 points each week that you wanna make sure you're getting. So here's how we do this. First of all, we're going to go through, I'm going to model it using geometry um, because I think that's going to be a good way to understand it with a class that a lot of you are probably taking right now. So because I'm doing geometry, the topic essential question might be um, 2.5 algebraic proof. And my question might be um, whatever your EQ was for class. So I might write EQ what information can we use as justifications? Maybe that was the EQ that my teacher posed for this particular section. My initial question now is the question that I'm using to kind of guide or to, that I'm working to have a deeper understanding of. So here's the question I'm gonna pick. It's a proof given R bisects QS, QR equals 15X plus six, RS, my bad. Whoa, this stole, what do you got going on here? RS equals 10X plus 26. That's my given, and I wanna prove that RS equals 66. And the source, in other words, where did this come from? Well, for me, this came from a half sheet that my geometry teacher gave us to work on in class. Okay, so I need some key academic vocabulary. Well, I'm going to start with, I know that there's a word right here, bisects. Immediately, if there's a vocab word in your question, let's define that. So we do vocab and we do a definition. Bisects means to cut into two congruent halves. And maybe another one I want is, a, is the word proof, right? I could choose all sorts of words. I could choose statements, reasons, justifications, algebra, uh, but I'm just gonna go with the word proof. And with that word proof, I'm just going to say um, a math way to show an idea 100% true. So now I'm building some ideas. What are some things I know? Well, I know I always start with the given. I know I'm going to need to draw a picture, because one's not written there, but my geometry teacher always says to draw a picture. Um, and I know that I might need to use some properties. I'm gonna add a third bonus thing I know. Okay, so there's some things I know. Now I'm gonna go to the back side of the sheet, or in your case, the second page of the sheet. And here's what I'm gonna start to do. I'm gonna start to work through the problem as best as I can. So I'm going to write out, given 
R bisects QS, QR, and I'm starting to work through what I am told in my problem because I'm trying to determine where am I actually confused? Because I have some good ideas, but I don't have enough good ideas, and so I need to work through this to get more. And I know that my teacher gave me a two column with statements on one side and reasons on the other, which is great. And I know that I better draw a picture. So I've got Q, S, and R bisects it, which must mean R is in the middle. So there's my picture. And I know that R, that my first step is always the given. And I know that my first reason is that I have a given. So I better put a number by those. Okay, so I'm starting to work through the problem. But now, I don't know what to do next. And so my, as I start thinking about this, I might start going, okay, well, I think that QR equals RS maybe, but I don't know why. And if they equal, I might be able to say this, but again, I don't really know why. And so my final answer, my final as I've done all my thinking about this, then I come up with this called my TQ. My tutorial question. And so for my, as I'm thinking about this, my TQ might be, how do I get my reasons? That's where I'm actually confused. It's not the initial question. I've got lots of good ideas about that, but where I'm stuck is how do I get my reasons? Or how do I write the next steps? Pick either one of those, but that's my process of how to go through this document and set up all the pre-work. So hopefully this helps you as you work through your own. Keep me posted.